Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give as the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do, yes. Thank you, sir. You can put your hand down and please state your full name for the record. My name is Manuel Oliver. And I am Joaquin Oliver's staff. Mr. Oliver, would you like to say something on behalf of your son, Joaquin? Yes, I do. Please do. I was advised not to be in this room since the very beginning of the trial because if I have said something wrong, you guys could complain. And then I will feel very guilty, not only for my family, but for the other families. So I took an advice from some of my friends here and decided to and decided to stay home and watch you guys all time and watch my brave girls, Andrea and Patricia, doing what they did. And I saw how this doctor was explaining the autopsy of Joaquin. Details that I was avoiding because I always hoped that Joaquin did not suffer, but he did suffer. You shot my kid four times. You blew his head, his marvelous brain and ideas and dreams. You destroyed them. shot him four times. You needed an AR-15 to do that because otherwise Joaquin will have beaten the shit out of you. But you were a coward enough. And you can be cowards in this life. Hiding your actions. The middle finger there. Apologizing for a middle finger. You need to learn how to do a middle finger. So you don't need to apologize to anyone. Yesterday I have heard all of you concerned about your children. It's ironic and uh, unreal. The whole trial, suddenly. Oh, don't mess with my kids, my children. Keep away from that. Really? What about our children? So for a minute, the trial was about protecting your kids. That was crazy. That was crazy. I was told not to use profanity here. I won't. I'll try. I think that one of the reasons that you did this, I'm talking to you right now, is to be famous. So I think that someone will steal that fame from you. Whoever takes care of you will own that fame. And someone will. You're going to die before me. And I will celebrate when you die. I heard you saying that you don't want to suffer. You don't like painful things. You understand that you will suffer and you will go through pain, a lot of pain. It would be much easier to die like a king in a supervised way that 
everything goes. I wish I could die like that. That's not your future anymore. A lot of pain, a lot of suffering. And someone will replace your fame. And I'm closing this chapter today. But you're not. Your chapter opens today. And Joaquin is with us, his mom, with me. We are with him every single day. That day, you didn't kill me. You didn't kill Patricia. So we are still Joaquin's parents. And Andrea is still Joaquin's sister. And we do what parents do. We come here and let you know what is right or wrong when you fuck with our children. And a lot of people will hate all of you guys now. And they've seen your faces. And you can complain about what I'm saying right now. I don't care. Go ahead. I'm the last speaker, by the way, so... I don't think nothing will happen if you say anything right now. And I have another message for you. It's not cool what you did. All the kids, the youth, that along with Patricia and myself work tireless every single day on debating gun violence, and change the future of this nation? Hate you. So if you were trying to be the cool guy, you're not. You're the worst. How does it feel? Nobody likes you. Sad. You know who they love, Joaquin? They love him. They send him messages. He has followers, millions of followers for all around the planet. And they will keep on following Joaquin while you are afraid of going through pain and die because someone will steal your fame. And this should be our chance to be very clear sending a precedent out there, which is something that I was hoping it could happen here, but I'm afraid it didn't. Because if we have a death penalty option, again, you have heard this a thousand times, and we're not using it to take care of this monster, then when are we going to use it? So people that do what you do should be punished. And we have the chance to show everyone that that is an option. And we wasted that opportunity. So now, the families, including myself, we need to declare that president that is wrong. People like you don't deserve a space here. And that's why we are so clear speaking. We're not talking to you. You guys think that the whole universe goes around you. We are not talking to you. We don't care about you guys. You get offended like I'm talking to you. I'm talking to a whole nation. He doesn't deserve to be here. Here in this society. But as my wife said, karma. I'm crossing that line again. You did a great job. You did your best, and I know that. I can feel it. I saw it. And I admire 
all the families that were here spending hours, days. I was with you. Trust me. I was crying in my office. Breakdowns. But I followed my friends. Fred advice. Stay home, man. But not today, because today I can say whatever I want. And I can dress however I want. Do I feel better now? I don't know. Tomorrow, you guys are going to go back to your perfect lives. Enjoy your family. Tomorrow, we're going back to our team. Missing our kids. And you are out of the picture. And you will be erased from the picture sooner than later. It's time for you to be afraid of me. <laughs>